I heard this was fermented using poop, but I, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Oh, we got music too. All right, cheers. I'm currently in Mexico City, and after spending most of my morning in this quiet little neighborhood of Coyoacan, I find myself yearning for something a little bit more adventurous. Okay. We've made our way back to the Centro in search of a special drink, the nectar of the gods. This reminds me of, of Phnom Penh right here, Russian market. I like this more gritty urban jungle with all the, all the noise and the smells and activity. I love that stuff. And after wandering around for a bit, trying to find a restaurant that didn't actually exist, a friendly officer came up to us and asked us what we were looking for. He then proceeded to escort us down the street to this tiny little unmarked hole-in-the-wall bar. Uh, and as we walk in, everyone in the bar turns around and looks at us, thinking, what the heck are these two gringos doing here? But fortunately, like most working class people you find day drinking at bars, they're really friendly. You drink this whole thing like this? What is it made from? I heard this was fermented using poop. But I, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Oh, we got music too. All right, cheers. When we were doing some research trying to find some information about this nectar of the gods, I found some articles about how it was fermented using poop or maggots, and we were trying to confirm this, but no one could give us a clear answer. Mm. Tastes kind of like poop. Why does this have all that stuff in there? So what exactly is this drink and is it really fermented using poop? Turns out, no, it isn't. That was just some hoax that propagated on the internet for who knows why. Pulque, otherwise known as Nectar of the Gods, is actually made from the sap of the magai plant. And while the fermentation process doesn't actually involve poop, it is a centuries-old one that's still in use today. The magai farmer will cut into the plant exposing the heart, which is then chopped up and left to ferment in place for several months until the sap is ready to harvest. The result is a white viscous liquid with many nutrients and probiotic properties that is enjoyed by many people today. In the pre-Hispanic period, bulque was considered a sacred drink and only enjoyed by kings and priests. I love that they serve it in these plastic pitchers. Hello, hello. The people are really friendly here. Muchas gracias, amigos. Adios. And there it is, YouTube's Bolke, a mildly intoxicating probiotic drink that you have to try the next time you're in Mexico City. Do we even know what this is called? It's a pulqueria, it doesn't a have a name. That's it. It's a, little, it's a little hole in the wall joint. And that's it, YouTubes. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the rest of the videos in this series by clicking on this playlist here.